Um, we are about to cross the border from Namibia into Botswana. This is our very first African land border crossing. And we actually have no idea where to go, so we're trying to figure it out. We got our exit stamps for Namibia, and now we find the Botswana entry. Okay, we're sitting at the border control. They are inspecting what's in the back of our car right now. So, Botswana border crossing was quite straightforward. You had to go to a health screening where they just asked if you've been to any countries where there's been yellow fever, which we haven't, so we got a little card saying clear. Then we went to the immigration where we had to do an, ex an entry form. They asked where we were heading um, in Botswana and how many nights we were staying. Then we had to go to customs and we had to pay a tax um, to enter Botswana, which was like 160 Botswana dollars. Um, and then we went to the border, the actual border crossing, and again, they just double checked where we were going. We gave them our forms that had all been stamped off at each of the places we went before. We got a little stamp in our passports. And with that, we are in Botswana. Now we're into being in Botswana and we got pulled over. We were going 69 kilometers per hour in a 60 zone. So Nikias is now paying a speeding ticket. Well, we went from being hot, sweaty, and like 30 something degrees to being literally in the eye of a storm. Botswana is a little wild so far. It was, I had a, well, we, I don't even know what to say. We've been driving for like 10 hours. And the last 50 kilometers was on gravel road in the middle of a lightning storm like this with pools of water. We were on four wheel drive mode. Elephants were crossing the road, giraffes were crossing the road and we were trying to just get there before the sun set. And then we got here and had a panic attack. And I had to sit on the floor of the reception and like, have my panic attack and that was not fun and we, today was probably one of our scariest days on the road so anyway we are not camping tonight we've upgraded ourselves to this for the night because the campsite is another 3k drive from the reception and there's no way we're getting back in that car today and setting up a camp tent a roof tent we don't actually know how much this place costs we're realizing we may be like spending a shit ton of money but we didn't really think that through and all that matters is that we're safe. <sighs> Morning from Botswana. We slept so good last night in our little luxury tent, which is proven to be very luxurious. <laughs> It'll be hard to go back to the roof tent tonight, but this was definitely a good call. We woke up literally in the jungle. Just been working through the map of our next couple of nights. Um, we're going to be driving up the Moremi Game Reserve, which is part of the Okavango Delta, and then north into Chobe National Park, um, which should be quite beautiful. So we've just left Mankwe. We've got 57 kilometers to our campsite for tonight, but it is, again, a pretty shit road, and also we're trying to see some animals, so we're expecting the, the drive to take us about two to three hours. Um, We'll see how far we get. Campsite. It's called Mbudi. Car. Camp 
campsite. This is probably one of the cooler campsites you've stayed at. Because this lake is full of hippos. I don't know if you can see that. Those little black dot things. There, it's too far away. Yeah, those are hippos. There's about 50 of them in there. And also the, one of the flaps on the back of our tire um, broke. So the guy from the campus. p.m. but uh, as you can see by the wind there is a storm brewing. Those clouds look a little mean. Made for a great sunset um, but the clouds look rough so we want to get inside before it gets dark. Um, so we're gonna head in the roof tent and hope that even if it's a vicious rainy windy nasty storm that we wake up tomorrow when it's all gone.
Good morning. We are we've left Mbudi campsite behind and we are now driving up to Chobe National Park, which is our next destination. It's about a 90, 100 kilometer drive or so through literal bush. This is probably the worst road we've driven so far. But thankfully, we got ourselves a driver for the day and he's driving us very kindly from our campsite up into Chobe because we're pretty done with these terrible roads. Pay the entrance fees to get into Chobe, and then we drive. <laughs> world's biggest rainstorm decided to descend upon us in Chobe. So we've come into the roof tent, which we've since discovered is not waterproof. It is soaking wet along the sides here. Everything, like, the sides are completely soaked. So we're in a rainstorm in a wet tent. stopped for now so we've been sitting in the car for the last hour and a half and now we're gonna go and see um, what this camp has to offer done these roads in Africa, I think you can do any road anywhere. <laughs> You've done some pretty challenging stretches. Oh my god! 